After nearly 100 years, scientists may have detected dark matter. Well, wow, that's quite a headline for a press release. I've been waiting for this for decades. The paper has been published in a peer-reviewed journal, so let's have a look. Dark matter is one of the biggest currently unsolved problems in physics. The problem is that observations seem to show that 85% of the matter in the universe is not of the type that we are made of. Instead, it's some sort of invisible but massive stuff that goes through us but that creates gravitational pull. Dark matter, astrophysicists believe, makes gravitational lenses stronger, makes structures in the universe form faster, and it also makes galaxies rotate faster. That includes our own galaxy. Estimates say that the Milky Way contains more than 10 times as much dark matter as normal matter. This dark matter isn't evenly distributed. It sits around us in a big spherical halo that has a higher density towards the center of the galaxy. The author of the new paper says that he's found evidence for this dark matter halo in the Milky Way. In the press release, he's quoted with saying, if this is correct to the extent of my knowledge, it would mark the first time humanity has seen dark matter. And it turns out that dark matter is a new particle not included in the current standard model of particle physics. This signifies a major development in a astronomy and physics. Concretely, what he did is to reanalyze data from the Fermi satellite, the Large Area Telescope, from 2008 to 2023. In this data, he identified a spherical distribution of gamma rays in the high energy range of around 20 giga electron volts, GV for short. This is a really high energy, far beyond X-rays. For comparison, 1 GV is about the mass of a proton. He says that the shape of the emission fits to a dark matter halo with a significance of a whopping 13 to 19 sigma, depending on assumptions. We can only see it in the center of the galaxy simply because there the density of the dark matter halo is so high. The gamma rays would be produced by dark matter particles if they bump into each other and annihilate. This is a rare event, but it should happen on occasion. All the numbers line up, he says, and there is no other explanation. According to the press release, the author is confident that his gamma ray measurements are detecting dark matter particles. I am not so confident. For one thing, it isn't like no one's ever looked at the Fermi data before. This data has been analyzed forward and backward. So if someone does a new analysis and finds something that no one else previously found, maybe they tried a little too hard to find something new. The issue is that in the Milky Way, we have multiple known sources of highly energetic gamma rays. Most prominently, there are the Fermi bubbles that span across the electromagnetic spectrum and that astrophysicists think are produced by the black hole in the center of our galaxy. There's also the Loop 1 bubble that's rather close to us and makes a foreground contribution. It's believed to be a remainder of a supernova. And there are some other contributions in the GV range. The thing is now that the author makes his own best fit to all these contributions and chalks up all remaining spherical contributions to the dark matter halo. This procedure basically guarantees that he must find something just because pretty much any shape has a spherical part. Another reason to be skeptical is that there have been various previous observations that astrophysicists attributed to some type of dark matter, which later turned out to be something else. For example, dark matter was supposedly responsible for an excess of super highly energetic cosmic rays coming from the center of the Milky Way, but they're now believed to be due to millisecond pulses. About 15 years ago, there was also an excess of positrons in cosmic rays that was supposedly dark matter, but that probably comes from supernovae or active galaxies galactic nuclei. And earlier this year, I told you about a peculiar spectral feature of the hydrogen emission from the center of our Milky Way. That's supposedly due to dark matter. Alas, that would require a completely different type of dark matter than the one that fits the new observation. This is why I give this paper a 9 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. I suspect that this discovery is an artifact of the data analysis. And even if not, 
There's likely some other astrophysical explanation for this. It's not a 10 because, well, I've seen worse papers. In summary, no, we almost certainly haven't discovered dark matter. So why am I telling you about this? Because I don't want to dismiss such headlines without even looking at the papers. I'm trying to remain open-minded because maybe one day it's the real thing. But today isn't that day. Because I'm positively sure that the real discovery will happen when I'm on vacation. Problems. I'm sure you have a few. But problem solving is a skill you can train, just like any other. I found that a simple and effective way to do this is with Brilliant. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to learn to think like an engineer, brush up your knowledge of algebra or want to learn coding in Python, Brilliant has you covered. It's an effective way to build up your knowledge and train your problem-solving skills skills. And you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.